Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. It's Katie Zane. Over on TikTok, I've been getting requests on how to make planners in Canva. So today, I'll be showing you how to make a day planner using Canva. Before we hop over to my computer, be sure to grab my 0 to 1k Etsy action guide. If you're serious about making passive income on Etsy, the link for that is below. And I have a special gift for all my friends who watch until the end of the video. So be sure to stick around until the end. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this day planner template. The very first step when it comes to making planners is I usually write down what I actually want to go into the planner, and then I will make a rough sketch on paper of what I want it to look like. So I'm not like completely trying to do it from just like scratch. It's easier to make a planner first and then like recreate it on Canva. After you know what you want your planner to look like, you come to Canva and you'll make a custom size design at 8.5 by 11 inches. And then from there, we're going to start designing. So I'm going to add a text box by hitting T. I'm really big on positive self talk and affirmations. So you got this. Oh, by the way, I usually show the margins. So if somebody wants to put the planner page in like a binder, they won't have any problems with punching the holes at the side, like it won't cut into the actual design. To the left, we have the date. So another text box, put date, and then an add a line quickly by hitting the L key. And so you see how thick this line is? We don't want it so thick. So you can come up here, go to line weight, and I have it at line, at weight one. And make it smaller put it up here okay then for the right side we want the days of the week so another text box and try to keep everything aligned lined up so you see the pink lines make sure it's lined with the date and sometimes, like, it, if it doesn't look like it, sometimes I'll just bring it all the way over here just to make sure everything is lined up. Oh, I'm moving it like this by holding the shift key and hitting the right arrow key. Okay. So now we want these lines. So I'm going to add an, another line, hit the L key. I'm going to change the weight to 1. And then do you see this key? You can change the style of the line by hitting this button. So that's a little bit too thin. I'm going to make it a little thicker. Okay, so line weight three. And then I'm going to duplicate that line by hitting the plus up here. Make sure they're within the margin lines. And I'm going to hit another T for the text box and put today's affirmation. And make it small. I can't remember. Is it? Oh, I didn't do it that way. Okay. So to do it like that, we'll just go like this. Make this a little bit bigger. Duplicate this line over here. Bring it over there. Make sure it's in the center by hitting position, center. So next portion, we're going to design this left side. So the first thing you'll do is hit R for rectangle and then make it the size that you want. I'm going to change this to a light gray color like that. Add a text box. Okay, next up are our appointments. So another text box. Now we're going to add some lines and they all should be weight one. So we're going to make it small. One line. And then another line that's a little bit longer. And make sure that everything lines up. Follow those pink lines like that. Okay. All 
I'm going to change this to a dark gray color. I don't like the black that much. From here, you can group these together and then just duplicate it. Okay, until you get as many as you want. I'll do five. Now to make sure they're all evenly spaced, we're going to highlight them all, go to position, and go to tidy up. So now they are all aligned. Let's move that up a little bit. Next, we're going to do water and then today's fitness. So for water, I'm going to duplicate this, move it down some, go to water. And now we're going to come to elements to find a water drop. So, yeah, in the one that I had, it was a pro element that I used, but we're going to use a free one. Um, then we're going to change this to gray. No, this one. Okay. And so we're going to try to get our eight glasses of water in, guys, every single day. I don't know if that is still too big even. Maybe it needs to be that size. I'm zooming in to make it easier. Okay, so one, two, so yeah, just keep duplicating them and then aligning them. And then here's our eight. Perfect. I'm going to highlight them. Actually, I'm going to make sure that everything is lined up, so I'm going to bring that to the outer edge. And now I'm going to position them and then hit tidy up. So there's our water. And then the last thing is today's fitness. So I'm just going to copy this. Bring it down here. And change it to today's fitness. Alright, so this side is done. So next up we have today's top priorities and the to-do list. So let's get that done. So another text box. So I'm going to add another line. Change the weight to 1. Okay, and so now we're going to add another rectangle. Actually, I'm just going to copy and paste this one and make it really small. So, yeah, mine is 0.2 by 0.2. Yeah, use the pink lines to guide you to make sure you're aligning them. Okay, so that's today's top priorities. And so now we're going to do the to-do list. I just duplicated that text box again. I'm going to say to do list. My laptop fan is so loud right now. All right, so I locked it. So, um, wow, okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to copy this line a couple of times. Okay, and so now we're just going to add these little squares. Wow, I don't know why it's like adding in random places. It's weird. Okay, so if you're having trouble making these like equally spaced, what I do is lock all of these lines so they're not going to move. And then just quickly duplicate all of these and now we're going to highlight all the squares and space them vertically also another tip is if you're having trouble like moving something just zoom in and it'll let you move it better like this
Yeah, I don't like how it looks. Okay, there you go. Next up are the meal boxes. So I'm just going to duplicate this square. Make it the same size as the lines above, like the same width. Let's make sure that all of these are going to... Let's make sure that they're all going to fit on the page. Yeah, no, so it's not going to fit. So we know we have to make it smaller. Maybe this size will work. So let's see if these will all fit. Yeah, they will. Cool. Okay, so we have our meal boxes. So we know that they're all going to fit within that space. Make this the same size, it's the same height, and move it over here. I'm feeling pink today, so let's do pink. And we're going to type in breakfast. Breakfast. And then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. and get it in there. Yeah, it needs to be even smaller. Okay, so breakfast. And now for the other ones, I don't wanna have to do that all over again. So we're going to group this all together and copy and paste. Another duplicate and another duplicate, okay. So line it up, make sure it's within the margins, highlight them all, go to position, go to tidy up, so they're all equally spaced and aligned. And now we're just going to write in the other meals of the day. So that is done, and now for the last part is adding the notes and today's wins. For the note section, I'm going to grab a square outline. I believe I used this. To make the border thinner, we're going to just like scale it down. And then when it's the size you want, click off of it and then just make it big again. Or make it whatever size you want it to be. Okay, let's do a pink outline. That border is a little bit thin for me, but I'm going to just leave it. Change the color maybe. Okay, and then to get the effect like this, I added another rectangle. And then I made it white. So I could put it here. And then you get that like little missing effect. And type in notes. Then our last step would be just to add today's win. Yeah, so you can add more lines like I did, or you can just use one of these. I think, I'm, I, think I like it better with the boxes. So I'm just going to add another box. Position that to the back. And then, guys, we would be finished. With planners, if you quickly want to make more listings, it's really easy to do because you can kind of just come and change the fonts around a little bit 
and change the colors and then you have like a completely brand new product yeah just change the colors maybe somebody wants like a blue you could do blue you'd have to like ungroup all of these first so you could change the color of the pink and so to get to an element that's in the back like right now it's hard for me to click on the pink you would click on the thing that's on top hold control and then click again until it goes to the element that you want to change so again click the top hold control click again it'll take you to the element beneath the top one But yeah guys, that is it. Let me know if there are any other kind of products or a different type of planner that you'd like to see me create. Tell me in the comments and I will add that to my video list. Thanks so much for sticking around until the end, you guys. As promised, a special gift just for you. I'm gonna give you access to this Canva template. All you gotta do is go to the link below, pop in your email address, and then the template will be sent to you. Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. But thanks again for watching, you guys. I will see you next time. Bye.